Hey yo, uh, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another how-to video. And in today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating on how to get more money very quickly and efficiently and easily for new players or already experienced players on my restaurant tycoon um so first let's start off with your floors i wouldn't buy your floors first just stick with the first floor and yeah you'll do a layout like this i'll show you right now so leave an empty space right along this whole entire back wall here if you're facing like this, it's all the way to your left. And place preferably double tables, or if you have to, single tables if you're starting out, all the way across. Place the booths, preferably. If not, chairs, it's fine. And then booths. And then repeat it on the back of the booths facing this way, facing that way. Double tables if you can. And then booths over here. And then when you get in the middle, you gotta place a booth facing the door, uh, table, booth facing away from the door, and then booth facing the door, table, booth facing away from the door. And then you wanna have your two of stoves. Try to save up for the gold ones. And then you wanna have, so two stoves, your food interaction table right here and then you want to have a stove right here right next to the food interaction table and then a stove right in front of the food interaction table and then you want to have three ovens so right next to the last stove on the right if you're facing the door go one up one to the left and then you'll have Five in total. And yeah, those are actually dishwashers. My bad. So in total, you'll have four stoves and three dishwashers. Now, if we were to go on to finish the rest, you do the same thing, but the middle is the only thing that's off from the rest. So now let's go up to the um second floor show you guys so in here you'd want to keep a lot of gems they increase um good question i don't know what they increase but they're good for you i forgot it's been a while but yeah they increase a lot of stuff you preferably want to have 42 of them and then just place your things here Look, you can you can like collect these. Like, for instance, I just got twenty thousand cash from this. Um, wow, right here. And then we got a bell that also gives you like bonuses. And then up here, I usually keep on the second floor the more profitable customers. Um, and yeah, just the gems too. That's what this floor is really for: the gems, and the profitable customers. And then floor two, same thing, try to get the profitable customers, but not really all the time. Also try to fit in some normal ones with, with the tables being upgraded. And yeah, let's go on the floor. Oh, we already went through all the floors. All right, well, yeah, that's really it. And let me show you guys something here. So when it comes to the chefs, the waiters, you want to, right now what I got may just be me, but I do four waiters and three cooks. That is the best way that works for me. It may not work for you, but first test it out. Because it might work. That's what got me to where I am now. Um, And I just leveled up. I can get another cook. 
but it may not be as good and it's also a waste of money so yeah um yeah and don't think because the chairs the tables are not high of a status for the bigger customers like vips elf santa uh, when it was winter and aliens and all that they'll still come here don't get me wrong but let's say when you do get up off the first floor with all of these alien booths already and then more over here it won't really come and then we got a chance for superman to come here i'd recommend that too because um, it raises his chances of coming to your restaurant than if it wasn't there so yeah that's really it hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope it helped you if it did make sure to leave in the comments thank you it did or whatever it helped a lot whatever you want to put and yeah let me know if you guys want any help with any other things it's been your boy Siv, and i'm out thanks for watching peace